It's Mother's Day, of course, Sunday, and if you're planning on uh, taking her out for brunch, you may want to bring along some bubbly. Uh, today, we're raising a glass to all the bums out there with the help of Natalie McLean, a, c a certified sommelier and author of Unquenchable. Good morning. How are Good you? Morning, Good morning, Jeff. Good to see you again. Hey, great okay, to be here. Okay, so you're suggesting here for Mother some bubbly entries. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to start with Henry of Pelham As first. Okay. Yes, and this is a wonderful bubbly from Niagara. You'll see we have both the rosé and the regular, mm -hmm. and uh, they they are about half the price of a, a champagne. So they're about $25, $35. Wonderful for Mother's Day brunch. I thought I'd just open one. Sure. This is and, and again, I, I think people have to be, realize, too, it, it, it has to be come from the Champagne region, right, to technically be called Champagne. To be champagne. called Champagne, that's, that's right. right. These are sparkling wines. Right. Even though they may use the same methods and the same grapes, right. we call them sparkling wines. Yeah. I'm just going to check where your lights are here. Well, this I'll is just, as live I'll action. I'll back here. <laughs> live action as wine I gets. I forgot my sword. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, yeah right. Ahead. Okay, whoa. Here we go. All right. Oh, good. Okay, everybody's, perfect. Everybody's yeah. still okay. So, and then you have a little pour there. I'll just okay. move that out of the way so we can yeah. see. There we go. So, again, the rosé or the... And what would the main differences be taste-wise between these two? Well, I find a rosé because it has a larger percentage of Pinot Noir in it. It's mm -hmm. one of my favorites because you can see not just the beautiful pink color. Right, yeah. But it's got these field raspberries and strawberries. It's just lovely. And the aroma, of course, in a rosé <sighs> immediately yes. leaps into your nostrils there. It does. There. So, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. If you're a Pinot Noir lover, you'll love a rosé. Now, okay, so now these are about 30 bucks, right? The Exactly. Yeah, for each of these two. Now, yes. this is the, let me get the, the Veuve Clicquot. Veuve Clicquot. Right. And what's really interesting about both Veuve Clicquot and Bollinger is that these um, wineries were run by women at the turn of the century. Mm. So Veuve means widow. They lost their husbands, either to war or sickness, took over the wineries, and built France's, some of uh, France's biggest luxury brands. Right. So I think yeah. that's really appropriate for Mother's Day. Well, no kidding. That's a great story, actually. I didn't yeah. know that. Now, yeah. so you've got the Veuve Clicquot, the Bollinger here, and... So thirty dollars, and this is about seventy, I think, right? So this exactly. Is a real treat. But now, and your sommelier taste comparison between the two. Can you do it, or is that a no-no in the world of wine? Oh, I am, I'm always comparing. Yeah. I'm always looking for great value. Yeah. But I would say both of these wines represent great value. They taste like the place where they come from. So this is pure Niagara goodness. Mm -hmm. This is classic champagne toastiness, as is the Bollinger. So it just depends on your budget. Um, but I wouldn't say, you know, that this is twice as good as this. Right. Sure. But it, great value. Now, if you're going to sit down and have a brunch, for example, mm -hmm. with some bubbly, with the sparkling wines, champagne what should you be having what complements a sparkling wine the most oh more sparkling wine yeah. <laughs> Who needs That's mimosa? That's a very good answer. Yeah. Yeah. No, sparkling wine is one of the most food-friendly wines on the planet because you get this swarm of mm. bubbles, the effervescence, the acidity. So when we, when we've got some uh, really tough matches like omelets or quiche right. or croissants, whatever we're having with Mother's Day brunch, bubbly is your wine. And, and let me tell you this. A lot of people keep bubbly for special occasions like Mother's Day, like New Year's, like birthdays. Should they be or, I mean... You know, a lot of people stay traditional red and white. Yeah. You, you can drink this anytime, right? Absolutely. It makes it a special occasion just opening it. And I really... I <laughs> yes. have never seen someone with all the answers. Look, that is a fantastic I answer. I love my job. <laughs> no kidding. All right. Well, listen, cheers to you and cheers. thank you. Cheers. Absolutely. All right, thank you. Natalie, and on NatalieMcLean.com, I've posted these favorite bubblies for Mother's Perfect. Day. Perfect. All right. Okay. Well, next up on Canada AM, we're going to have a performance uh, by the cast of West Side Story. Stay with us. Mama, mama. 